Kodak Black files for an appeal on the bid that he's currently serving. That's going to be about three more years. And me, myself, I think that he needs to save all of that attorney hour pay work for the other charges. You know, the ones that he's most likely going to be found guilty of. That's like 30 years apiece. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost What's up party people I so Yeah So uh, Apparently Kodak Black and his legal team Has decided to file for an appeal Okay so For everybody that don't know Kodak Black has recently been Found guilty <laughs> Like I'm saying that like it's a question, but it's not a question actually. He's actually been found guilty. So uh, in the situation where Kodak Black was given 46 months, uh, actually I don't think he was found guilty. I think he pled guilty, but that's not the point. The point is that he got 46 months for federal uh, gun charges, right? So Kodak Black, Kodak Black had 46 months of a federal gun charge handed down to him on November 13th. They're appealing. I mean, I guess they're appealing because it's an option. I really don't think they're appealing because they think they're going to win. At this point, it just seems like Kodak Black is trying to do absolutely everything in his power in order to either cut his prison time or end it. When, just so we could be clear on this, when... He was a free man. He could have just not been looking for trouble. Well, with all that being said, uh, the legal team for Kodak Black has filed documents asking the assistant U.S. States attorney, Bruce Brown, to um, recommend that Kodak Black is placed near a location for a residential drug abuse program also. The reason why I mention that in conjunction with mentioning the fact that they are filing for an appeal is I don't think they're really confident on the appeal. I mean, look, let's just be clear about a couple of things. Besides what Kodak Black is currently in jail serving close to a four year prison sentence for. Remember, he has some time served going. So he's, it's not four years from now. It's closer to like three years from now because he has time served already. So don't forget about that. But besides those charges that he already has three years for that he's trying to. I'm not going to say finagle, but I'm going to say he's trying to convince the judge and the state that look i want to change my ways i want to go to school i'm mean, let me say something real quick when i was growing up for, for some strange reason it was always believed that the way to change your life was to go to school that's what it was always believed that's what everybody always said you gotta go to school you gotta get good grades you get good grades and you go to school that means you're gonna have more opportunity right that makes sense and everything right then why does it seems like everybody that's getting rich didn't go to college <laughs> i'm not trying to be funny and yes kids go to school but i'm just saying that's a cop out we all know what how many rappers actually go to school just to be honest with you i i remember when um little wayne took some time off he went to school we've heard j cole rap obviously he went to school i don't know if common went to college or not but it could have fooled me but the point that i'm trying to make is you heard the rappers I just named? Do you put Kodak Black in those that situation when it comes to common sense? No one is believing that Kodak Black is going to honestly be able to go to college and successfully finish. And not because he's not intelligent enough. He's probably intelligent enough. But when you're a guy, right, that pulls up in the projects, right? 
You see your cousin who you and him got beef, right? Y'all grill each other for a minute, right? Then you jump in the car that you rented, drive off, come back with your friends, and shoot the block up. It. I just personally don't think that somebody who does something as foolish as that, where there is absolutely no way that everybody doesn't know that you are the guy that just shot up the projects, I don't think somebody that does anything as foolish as that is going to do something as smart and as bright as change around the whole perception of who everybody believes that you are, right? That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Anyway, so as they already said, 40, Kodak Black is 46 months sentence on his federal gun charges, and he also have two more gun charges for having a gun uh, why he's a felon it's like two more charges that he's gonna have to try to go against also that could be like I, I i i forget but i think they're like up to 30 years in prison for each count like a piece so i'm not sure if those could run concurrently or consecutively but let's just be clear on something they're playing all of these shenanigans and all of these games with this three-year deal, with this three-year bid he got to do, right? He got about three more years to do. They're playing all of these shenanigans and all of these games. What in the heck makes you think that he's going to have two charges, that each one is 30? That's going to be the big thing to beat. I don't know. Let me know what y'all guys think about that. Just, just so we can be clear before we get to the end of the video. Please, let me know what y'all guys think about that. Because, look, I just want to be honest with you. Kodak Black, this is the problem with trolling. This is the number one problem with trolling. Kodak Black has had a million opportunities. Obviously, I'm exaggerating by saying the word million. But you get the point. And it seems like every time Kodak Black has had an opportunity to do the right thing, he has done the, you serious? He's done that thing. Where we, after you do it, people watching you are just like, or people that when they hear about the thing that you've done, it's just like, nah, that didn't happen. That's the thing Kodak Black seems to consistently do. So you can't tell me that he's going to go to school, change his life. I'm sorry to hear you. You had a lot of opportunities. I'm not wishing jail on you and I damn sure ain't wishing death on nobody. But what I will say is this. When you've gotten a million opportunities and what you've chosen to do was say that you talk about a man's wife after he was killed. After he was murdered in front of his own store. You talk about his wife. All the other trolling things that you've done. You move into a neighborhood. As soon as you move into a neighborhood, your son is stealing golf carts from other people's property and crashing them into the buildings. When 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 you have that type of dysfunction around you, and they finally grab you and sit you down and say, "Yo, look, Kodak, we've had enough. We've accepted all that we can accept, and these are the options." What does Kodak do? I mean, realistically, like I said, they filed for an appeal, but that's expected. But even more importantly than the fact that they filed for an appeal, once again, he only has three more three more years on this bid. He has two more charges coming that's 30 years apiece. And besides that, he has a, a rape charge in South Carolina. Look, I know a lot of y'all love Kodak. I know a lot of y'all want to see that young man out here doing what he's going to do. But he has a song saying that they don't want to see him win. They want to see him in the pit. And this is what I'm going to say about that. I don't think no one wants to see Kodak in the pit. I think Kodak just prefers to be there. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out.
If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.